Hi everyone, welcome to Oakman Life. In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to properly print out patterns and how you can prolong the life of the pattern. So let's start with making sure that the parts are accurately printed. Using a ruler, check that the test square measures 2cm by 2cm. So depending on the patterns you have downloaded, you may receive files in multiple paper sizes either A4, A3, or A2. This is because some patterns are large and won't fit on one piece of A4 paper. So first, I'm going to show you here how to combine large patterns that were split onto multiple A4 paper. So start with laying out all the pages on a flat surface and arrange them in sequence so they form a rough shape of the pad. Each page should have a registration mark which will come in handy when lining up everything. Next, it's time to glue up the individual pages together. We're gonna glue it up in sections. So choose any two sides and mark one side to paste and the other to cut. Cut along the guide on the part that you marked as cut and glue it to the other side that was marked as paste. You can use a glue stick or double-sided tape to secure the pieces together. Just make sure that the guidelines are all lined up so everything is squared. So now just repeat the same process on all the other remaining pieces and at the end, you should have a single piece of paper with an accurate size pattern. Here you can see a comparison between the same pattern printed on an A3 paper versus it printed on multiple A4 pages and then combined. Both versions are accurately scaled. This step is optional but follow through if you plan to reuse your patterns or want them to last longer. We are basically going to stick the pattern to a thicker paper or cardstock. Doing this not only prolongs the life of the pattern but also makes it easier to trace it onto the leather compared to just using the pattern that was printed on a single layer of paper. Here I'm using a 300 GSM cardstock and to glue them together, you can either use a glue stick or spray adhesive. I like using the spray adhesive because it's much quicker and the end result is much cleaner. I sprayed one side of the paper with the spray adhesive off camera because I didn't want the spray residue to stick to my video gear or my work desk. So if you decide to use the spray adhesive, make sure you spray it in a well ventilated area and protect the surface you're spraying on with some old newspaper or plastic bags. Once all that's done, all you have to do is trim out all the individual pieces and then you're good to go. That's all. Not only are the patterns easier to use, they're also easier to store and organize. So thanks for watching and don't forget to share your creations with us.